Hi there, this is Noah Newman, Kokoraz Education Coordinator, here to showcase the new interactive mapping system. So let's dig right in. In the upper right corner, you've got some links to go back to the Kokoraz homepage. In the About, you can find a document that will give you much more information about this map and how to use it. And the Feedback button. If you find a bug or have something that you'd like to see in the future, please use this feedback form. We'd really appreciate it. One thing that is not well known is this little uh, option here to choose the entire thing in inverse and which might be more pleasing to the eyes in certain situations. The legend is draggable. You can put this anywhere on the screen and you can also minimize it which is nice if you are on a smaller screen or using a smartphone. When it comes to zooming in with a mouse, you can double click, you can use your scroller bar, you can also use these plus or minus buttons, and if you're on a smartphone, you can use the pinch to zoom method. This feature here allows you to draw your own box to zoom, and it'll create an instant zoom to whatever box you choose, but you do need to know to turn that off before the interactive features on the map are available. So once you zoom into an area, you see that the dots turn into the actual data points and the amounts and if you click on a dot you can view the details from that report including if they did uh, submit some notes which this person did and if you click on details it's actually going to bring up the report on the Kokoraz website. We are looking at 24-hour data here, just like the normal maps do, but the newest feature of these maps is the ability to select a range. This date picker is only uh, on this top menu, is available on the desktop feature, but they are in the map options when you've got a smaller screen. But when we choose a range, you click on your start and end dates, and now it's going to show you accumulated data for all stations that have complete data. And what we need here is at least 90% completeness. So in other words, I've selected 10 days of a range, and so all the dots on this map have at least 9 of those 10 days complete. When you click on a dot in an accumulated map, you'll see some additional information about all the reports for that station, and you can click on details to see the daily amounts that were reported for each day. When you're in the map options, we've got some actions. You've got the what, when, and how, and I'll describe a few of those things here. In the action section, this is a new feature called copy link to map, and let's say you're really happy with this map that you're looking at and you want to share it with your friends, you can click copy link to map and share it whether it's in an email or save it to a bookmark or share it on social media. In the what category, you can choose between precipitation, all the different snow measurements. We've got significant weather that you can map as well as hail. And a new feature too is some additional information about stations. So I can click on active stations and it's going to pull up all the stations that are open in the database. And if you click on any of them, it's going to give you some statistics about when they joined and how, they're, how much data they've submitted. It won't provide anything personal. In the upper left corner, if you click on the logo or the words Kokoraz Mapping System, it will always default back to square one. Going back into the map options, into the when category, uh, I already briefly talked about that you can choose daily or an accumulated map. We have a limit of 45 days. Whatever uh, accumulation period you're looking at, it is limited to 45 days to prevent this, the data from being bogged down. Um, but you do have some other options to quickly choose um, features that you might want to see. In the how section, the final piece here, what I want to point out is that you can, whatever you select in this section is going to be remembered. So if you prefer to look at your data in metric, the next time you return to the map, it's going to remember that and keep it in metric. If you change the color scheme to uh, something of your liking besides the default, then it's going to remember that as well. I'll quickly point out this one green gradient is really good for if you are wanting to print a map and don't have uh, color you can print this in black and white and these colors will work for that printing 
Finally, I'd like to point out the uh, scale bar is can either be set to, it defaults to dynamic, which is what we're used to, where it's going to use the scale according to the data that is on the map. But in cases where you may want to be comparing one map to another, it is nice to fix the scale to a, a fixed amount where each of the ranges will always be the same and so you can compare one map to another. But for the most part when you're looking at either daily or accumulated data it is more it's it, it makes more sense to use the dynamic scale. So with that we are going to uh, let you have at it and please again use the feedback button if you have uh, find any bugs or have any feedback and we hope you really enjoy the maps.